I think the most important thing that I learned on very early on is that what I was experiencing emotionally was grief, that I was truly grieving. Um, it was helpful that I was involved in, in parent support early on because I learned some very basic uh, things from a wonderful uh, psychologist named Ken Moses. And what he said was, um, that truly struck me, is that parents build core level dreams for who their child is going to be for them. I mean, what we dream our children are going to do and be is not realistic because they're going to do whatever they're going to do. But, you know, who they are going to be for us. I was short. I married a tall man. I wanted a child who was going to play volleyball and she was going to have long fingers and um, I was hoping she'd be a redhead. And I had a daughter and she was a redhead. And at five weeks she stopped breathing and suffered massive brain damage and had cerebral palsy and was blind and nonverbal and she was going to use a wheelchair forever. And that was my first huge grief, was letting go of that dream that my daughter would play volleyball and I would teach her how to play volleyball. Another important thing Ken Moses said was, we have to let go. We grieve the dream that was lost. And we grieve that by letting it go and building new dreams, new hopes, based more on what our child truly is and holding on to those dreams and being flexible in those dreams uh, as they grow. He had hope for us. He gave me, he enabled me to have hope for what Jessica might be after the surgery or in a year or in 10 years. And so I kept rebuilding new dreams based on how she was doing. And whether she regressed, whether we moved forward, um, she didn't have vision, oh maybe she does have some vision, oh she definitely has some vision. And so your hopes and your dreams and your expectations continue to grow as they do. And I think that's my best um, my best story to share is that don't give up on your hopes.